Denver's opening lineup. Gallinari sits outside at three with Farid at the four. Harris is out there with Moutier. And it's Laverne in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Shots good by Clarkson. And a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. Now here's Moutier. Defense is right there. Harris kicks to Laverne. Just four to shoot. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Moutier. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And former coach of the year Byron Scott out with the Lakers. And as you said, Greg, he's not an analytics guy. And Clark, I, I think he's a guy that the eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah, he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion. And I think that all is evident in his coaching style. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. Offensive rebound. Hibbert the pass to Clarkson. Randall down low. Fareed defending. For Denver, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Moutier with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. Screened by Fareed. Here's Moutier. Leans. And Hibbert with the block. And Randall throws it down. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Harris dishes to Moutier. Out to Gallinari. Fires the three. Randall grabs the board. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They trail by one. There's the dish to Russell. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a loss to Oklahoma City. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randle's career started. I was there that night, first game of the season, seventh pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game, broke his right leg 14 minutes in. And the guy that comforted him the most, I recall very vividly, Kobe Bryant stayed with him the entire time. And he was really in shock on the floor. He was. And unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in, in the summer league. And the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. Here's Moutier following the basket by Kobe Bryant. The leaner, Moutier, no good. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And it's Bryant in the corner. Fader on the way. The shot no good. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. And, you know, going back to Randall's rookie year, his troubles really started during medical checkups before the draft. They found the foot injury dating back to high school. The fifth metal tarsal had been broken which may be why he fell a few spots in the draft. And the Lakers with possession here. Denver getting their last shot to go. Here's Hibbert. Top of the key, Russell. It's tipped. Alinari with it, picked up by Bryant. Harris kicks to Moutier. The 11-footer, and it's good off the back rim and in. Moutier's got his second basket of the game. And talking about Randall's rookie injuries, the Lakers were going to let him play through the foot. But once he broke the leg, they, they did season-ending surgery on the They can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor. Spacing. Spacing. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Well, somehow the Lakers managed to avoid ending up in last place in the West last season. Still, it's a far, far cry from the Lakers teams of the past. Only 21 wins for them on the season. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. And finished off by Bass. Explosive leaping ability. Oh, that was pretty. And he just has that Clark, that effortless knack for getting inside. Mm -hmm. and, and, guys, how about how fearsome?